everyone. In this video, I show you how I made the cover after I removed it. In this case, it's X-Men number four. Uh, there's, I have a previous video showing how to remove it. In this video, I show how I made it. Now, it is not a technical video. It's not a technical or difficult thing, but I get asked a lot, so I just wanted to share it. I use this material. I'll provide an affiliate link below, and I put it on the inside of the cover. That's really it. And then I have to cut it and trim it. it it's That's a little difficult. It takes a little bit of work to make sure that you cut it just right. And there are a little bit of techniques in adding it and keep the tape under tension. Don't let it stick to itself. Don't let it stick to the paper. I think nothing most people wouldn't figure out on their own. But anyway, and just in case you want to see this video, here it is. Enjoy. Now this cover is presumably the better cover. And it is really not in great shape. Uh, could stand some serious whitening, of course, but we need to repair this because it is split almost entirely up the middle. So I'm going to apply some of this mending tissue to the spine, and it's going to need more than I'd like to put on it to make this thing stick together. I don't remember where I got it exactly. I think there's a link to it on my website. I think it's from Amazon, I think, now that I remember. And I'm just going to try to repair this guy right here. And normally I would cut this a little bit narrower because I don't want it to be so wide that you can see it when you open it. But in this case, the paper is so brittle, I don't want it to crack just around the edges of there. So in this case, I'm taking some longer pieces actually, and I am gonna start at the bottom here in this case. And I really want to make sure that I get it lined up exactly right. So I'm going to take and make sure that the bottom is cut perfectly square and not at an angle. And then the top, I'm going to do the same. Make sure that we have it square. And we have one piece here. And this is a piece that's long enough that I know I can keep it straight. And what I do a lot of times is I stick it to this tool here so I can see while I'm doing it. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And then I will line it up on the bottom. And I'll touch it right there. And then while this is, while I'm holding tension on it, and that's the critical thing because you don't want it to develop wrinkles. I'll run my finger up the tape It has tension on it and I normally have a bone folder that I rub on this and it but this paper is really brittle and I don't want to crack it so I'm just gonna use my finger to and it gets clearer if you rub it more but I don't want to rub too much <clears throat> Let's see how this looks from the other side it looks good so we're gonna keep doing the same thing here we go again, and these might have to overlap a little bit to make this work properly. So I'm just going to keep some tension here, and this is going to overlap up about two millimeters. Again, I'm using this top one to align this just right, and there's going to be a spot where it's going to try to stick to the paper underneath because it's just. There's just some missing paper there. <clears throat> you can see that I'm gonna, gonna kind of attach this a little bit here. Putting this into place. A couple little splits here. And then you with more through here. So here we go. We're going to keep tension on the bottom again as per usual. So I'm going to touch this to my touch this mending tape to my tool here. And then I'm going to keep tension on the tape. My finger on the bottom. I'm lining it up just exactly right now again they have to overlap a little bit so I'm going to keep some tension on the tape 
and it's very easy for this tape to stick to itself and to the book. So we don't want that to happen. We don't want it to stick to itself or touch the book in any other place or else that's a big problem. So we're going to keep tension here and we are going to line it up now at the top and let the middle part overlap. So the middle part's going to overlap right about here. And we're going to straighten that out. Right. Right. Here. Right there. And we're going to run our finger up the tape. And then release it right here. It'll be a little bit hanging over, I suspect, when we're done. <coughs> And so we're going to have to fold that over or cut it away. I'm going to rub this up here. And then we're going to close our cover. And then we'll see that it is now mended and much sturdier than it was before. It's not coming away. And I'll trim that top with a knife. There's this part here that's sticking there. We might need to cut this out too, but that's it. That's how you mend a cover. Now, this book has a little tiny bit of paper up above where the spine has come out a little, and you can see it better possibly from the other side where this is up a little bit higher, and I'm going to remove that. Uh, it, it was necessary to do that because we wanted our tape, to, our reinforcement tape, to go up to these edges where it's kind of crumbling away in these corners, so that it doesn't continue to crumble. But at the same time, we don't want that to show. So we're just going to take this guy and we're going to we're going to cut some of this away from here so that we don't show it coming out of there. So we're going to just cut away very carefully this material and we'll leave a little bit here because it will wear away and we can fold a little bit of that over and it will it will look pretty good so we won't have to worry about it too much I'm gonna rotate this a little bit so I can get better light on what I'm doing and we can just sort of cut this away there we can even cut this a tiny bit close. We'll cut this a tiny bit closer. And then uh, let's get this guy up here. There we go. Be very careful doing that work. I'm going to flip this over and we'll see what it looks really good now and then there's little tiny tiny edges here sorry these little tiny tiny edges here you can kind of scrape that out so that's as close as it can be because otherwise you see this blue areas here where it's wrinkled and cracked those would would start wearing and come off after a while it's got some reinforcement I'm just gonna I'm just pinch what I'm doing is I've scraped it on the inside now I, what I'm doing is I'm doing a pinch and pull I pinch push this and I pull away so I can maintain even the frayed edges <clears throat> and you'll notice that it is uh, you can see it's not exactly perfect but we'll get it by pinching and pulling these little edges away and it has a like a natural look to it it won't look as uh, it won't look as cut straight across there and you won't you won't be able to tell that there's anything at all in there when we're done. So you'll be able to see that looks pretty good in a moment. So this is, you know, under pretty enhanced look here, but you'll see in a moment that that looks better. And you won't be able to tell from the outside of the book at all. So if we look at it right here, you won't you won't be able to tell. 
if there's anything funny about that. And this is the only spot I worry about is this area right here where this is reinforced and there's a tiny bit sticky and there's no staple there. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go on the inside and we're going to we're going to remove this area here so that it's not visible. this way so I'm going to move my light in a position that is easier for me to see without my hand blocking the, the way there we go and we are going to cut this out of here to be showing from the other side at least too much. And so now when we flip it over, it looks better. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll do a little, a little pinch and pull with this, these areas here to make it look really good. Like there's nothing there at all. So I'm just going to pinch and kind of scrape this down. We will, we will get it in here. We just have to there we go. This little thin guy needed to come off. See that guy right there? I'm going to get this out here. I'm just going to lay this on the knife and then pinch and then I'm going to pull it away and then we can take little little strips like that off until that tape matches the shape of our area. There we go, a little devil, come off of there. So we're just kind of carefully taking, I don't know, half a millimeter, quarter millimeter off that space. That little thin fella right here is coming off of there. There we go. You little stinker, come on off. And I'm going to pinch and pull. So I'm pinching and like pulling it away, kind of like a scrape motion. And we will get it off of here. <clears throat> you can see, there we go. So here's what this space looks like now on the inside of the book from the ID, and I'll show what it looks like. When it's fully assembled next. Now from the outside this book there's the staples and then here's this area here right there. You really hard pressed to see it and obviously from a distance you can't tell. Maybe a little bit. You can see a little bit of the material there. It'll wear off over time but that's what it looks like from the exterior, and there's our book.